So there's reported pressure on Bernie Sanders to drop out of the race. And uh, so Senator Sanders, I uh, beg you to stay in the race for president uh, for two simple reasons. Uh, Joe Biden is evil and Donald Trump is evil. What do I mean by that? Joe Biden, uh, I believe, caused the deaths of about 500 U.S. soldiers in the Iraq War of 2003. He was the leading, the leading uh, Democratic advocate for that war. And, and it was really the way that he did it, which was so uh, diabolical, he lied. He said, uh, and people can look this up, I've saved some of the videos myself, he said that uh, even in his vote, he said on Meet the Press, and in his vote, and God knows how many other places, that it wasn't a question of if, but when Saddam Hussein got nuclear weapons and passed them to terrorists, right? So he was really uh, as bad, maybe even worse, as George Bush in uh, lying us into that war as the leading advocate in the Democratic Party. Um, I mean, the only saving grace as far as I'm concerned, I mean, shouldn't he be in prison? Uh, then we look at Donald Trump and what has he done? He's uh, f without any justification of any logical nature, he's terminated the INF nuclear treaty with Russia, thereby plunging us into the danger. I mean, the press isn't reporting on this, so people don't think about it, but uh, we're in danger of nuclear annihilation, in my opinion, right now. Uh, why? Because uh, there was no reason for terminating this treaty. Russia's only gotten weaker, far weaker, over the years since that treaty was made with the Soviet Union back in 1988 by super hawk, super Republican Ronald Reagan. So um, <laughs> the idea that they're more dangerous now than they were the Soviet Union was compared to us in 1988 is just absurd. Um, and uh, the thing is that um, he's turning nuclear, uh, Venezuela into potential Venezuela missile crisis, a la Cuban missile crisis, when the war came the closest, the world came the closest it's ever been to nuclear um, annihilation for the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, and uh, how do I mean this? Now, Russia is realistically concerned and alarmed that we will put uh, nuclear weapons in the former Warsaw Pact countries, uh, Poland, Romania specifically, because he's now terminated the treaty, making it illegal to do so. So that means they need to preserve the option of uh, position, counter-positioning missiles in Cuba and Venezuela. Um, the leader of Venezuela, so-called the power grabber, the usurper, Nicolas Maduro, is an evil man. Russia now has no choice but to prop him up so they can counter-position nuclear missiles there, right? And of course, this is a potential nuclear annihilation, all because of one man, Donald Trump. Uh, so. We have in Joe Biden someone who got, in my opinion, about 500 soldiers killed for an, a, a corrupt war in Iraq. And we have with Mr. Trump someone who could get us all killed. Please, Bernie Sanders, stay in the race.